Welcome to another moment on the Malcolm Sori's channel and welcome to my three-part mini-series, Easy Makeup for Beginners. I have three parts to show you how to achieve this makeup look here. Subscribe to my channel to become a part of the moment and subscribe to Mented Cosmetics, incredible products that work beautifully on deep skin tones. <laughs> I have had the pleasure of working with one of my personal favorite makeup brands, Mented Cosmetics. Mented is a black female owned company that has shown me so much love on my content through Instagram. I was already a believer long before I became a Mented mentor. Let's get that straight, okay? And of course you can use my code Malcolm S if you want to get 15% off any Mented product on MentedCosmetics.com. You know, they also sell Mented at um, Target and Ulta. For part one, I'm going to start with Mented products that I use to just achieve the base. So uh, Mented has this perfect prime primer stick. Kind of gelatinous almost. It's a little bit creamy. It's very textured. It comes out very balmy. That's the word. It's very balmy. It might feel like a little bit weird, like you're doing a sixth grade science experiment. I just make sure that this is kind of like blended out. I feel matte, but I don't feel too dried out. And then I'll go in with the Better Setter setting spray. This setting spray is really nice. The only thing I will say about it is that it leaves almost like a little like fizziness. So I'm gonna offset that by spraying on a damp beauty blender. Yeah, see? So I'm gonna just tap the product in. It doesn't have a fragrance to it. I really appreciate that because I have sensitive skin. I don't have time for the peonies and the and the gardenias of it all. These are the little things and steps and tricks that actually will make your makeup last all day. So listen, this is the Mented Cosmetics Skin by Mented Foundation Stick. My personal shade is M30, but they sent me some other shades. This product claims to have an ultra hydrating formula that's lightweight and buildable, giving you the coverage you need with the natural finish you love. It can be used as a foundation, concealer, or contour stick. We're about to test that out in a second. Vegan, hypoallergenic, and cruelty-free. It checks off all the boxes, see? So here's M30 on the back of my hand. As you can see, it blends in very nicely. It comes off a little bit red, I feel like, on my hand, but uh, you'll see how beautiful this blends out in a second. You can apply it directly to the face. People say it's more sanitary to do it this way. I just wanna make sure that I have the coverage. If you wanna apply it directly to your face, girl, you go right ahead. Watch this coverage, though. When it said lightweight and buildable coverage, that's literally exactly what it gives. When I do my full coverage, like when I want a full, full glam look, I've actually been using this just as a base to just spot conceal, and then I'll put liquid foundation over the stick. But this does a beautiful job on its own. This is like a product I take when I travel. This foundation stick will deliver. Right, so now, do you see what I'm talking about? Look. Yeah, yeah. Let me apply this side directly to my face. This seems like kind of like medium coverage. Now I'm gonna swatch the rest of these shades of the foundation stick and I'm gonna see if I can highlight or contour with any of these just to add some dimension to the face. M10 is a little bit light, but I might be able to use this as a little concealer underneath my eyes. Ooh, M40 looks like kind of close to my skin tone actually. Um, and I have D20. D20 looks, it's giving me a little clay, a little bronze. I was thinking maybe using this as a bronzer, but I don't think it's quite deep enough. I'm gonna try using the first shade as a highlight shade just underneath my eyes, and we'll see where that gets us. Oh yeah, this is nice. Because the formula is so creamy, this actually works great as a concealer. Ooh, look at that. Look at the difference. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize my under eye was that dark. Oh yeah, no, I'm never going back. This is lovely. It, it's just the creaminess. I literally feel like a Reese's peanut butter cup. I have some Mented Cosmetic Setting Powder right here. I'm gonna use uh, their Loose Setting Powder in Medium Deep. I'm just gonna set these under eyes and I'll be right back. This powder is beautiful. I always add setting spray periodically throughout the moment though. Snap, crackle, pop. Blend that into the creaminess. It's like you're making a milkshake and it brings all the boys to the yard. 
I'm excited for the rest of the series because we're gonna go to cheeks next and then we're gonna go to eyes. I'm gonna do a little uh, eyeshadow look as well. I'll see you in part two.